The USA Current Wildfires layer is a live feed layer. It is updated frequently and only shows fires from the past seven days. In this tutorial, you'll export a copy of this data that will not constantly update, which will instead show a snapshot of wildfires from the current week. You'll then publish the exported data as a hosted feature layer. This will create a separate and static copy of the data that is owned and managed by you. Click the Overview tab. Check the Terms of Use section. You are allowed to export a copy of this layer so long as you provide attribution to Esri and the layer's data providers. Click Export Data. This button is not available for every layer. It must be enabled by the layer's owner. Any of the export options can be used to create a hosted feature layer, although the steps will differ. Choose Export to Shapefile. For title, type USA Wildfires followed by your name or initials. For summary, type Today's Date. Click Export. A new item page appears. It looks like the previous item page, except that you are listed as the item's owner, and the item type is listed as Shapefile. All of the metadata from the original layer is included, including the source information in the Credits Attribution section. This is a new, separate, and static dataset. The data will not update next week. Instead, it will always show the wildfires from the week that it was created. There are no options to view the data. A shapefile is a data format intended for desktop GIS, not WebGIS, so its abilities in ArcGIS Online are limited. Next, you'll publish the shapefile item as a hosted feature layer, which can be used more fully in ArcGIS Online. Click Publish. Add today's date and click Save. Another item page appears. This time, the item type is listed as Feature Layer Hosted. Feature layers are a WebGIS data format. The hosted label indicates that in addition to owning the layer, you can also manage the capabilities and the schema of the data. There is an Open in Map Viewer button and many other options that were not available to the shapefile item. In the Details section, the Created From line links to the shapefile item that this layer was created from. Next, you'll confirm that the data was copied correctly and completely. Click the Data tab. In the Layer menu, confirm that both sublayers are present. Choose Current Perimeters. In the Comments column, double-click to edit any cell. Because the layer is a hosted feature layer owned by you, you automatically have editing privileges for the data. The field names have been compressed and truncated. This is because shapefiles have limitations for field names. You can edit the display names of the fields to make them easier to interpret. Click the Fields button. Click Incident NA and rename the field Incident Name. You can change the display names of the other fields later. First, you'll review the new items that you created. Click the Content tab. There are two items with the name USA Wildfires. One is a hosted feature layer and the other is a shapefile. Select the shapefile item and click Delete. The shapefile item can't be deleted because it is the data source for the hosted feature layer. In this tutorial, you exported a shapefile from a live feed feature layer. This created a separate static copy of the data that you own. Then you published the shapefile as a hosted feature layer. This created a layer that you both own and manage, which you can use for mapping and analysis in ArcGIS Online.